How do you go from seemingly normal to doing something this horrific. What is your explanation for that? And this is what she offered. And one thing really quickly for all of our viewers is, there is one thing we do in medicine when someone acts out of character, you always do want to rule out a medical cause. Mm -hmm. And there was another medical speculation that Casey's mother made about her daughter. Take a look. She has devastated you. She has devastated George. She has been involved in some way in the death and, and burial of her daughter in the woods in the most dishonorable way you can possibly imagine. The question Absolutely. is just why. People don't know she had a grand mal seizure after she came home for the very first time. I don't know why she's having a seizure. Does she have a brain tumor where the seizure's caused by stress? But there is a point where you have to put on your list of possibilities that these are the behaviors of an unconscionable psychopath. Why did we hear about any of this before? Why are we just hearing about this now? That's certainly a question that I ask about and go into, but at the time that this grand mal seizure supposedly happened, I said, was she evaluated? The answer was yes. I said, did she get MRIs, CAT scans, blood work, x-rays, did everything get worked up? Answer, yes. What is, wait, what is a grand mal seizure? And I, I want to know, does it cause psychosis? Grand mal seizures are also known as generalized tonic-clonic seizures. Those are the ones when you see someone where literally they may be on the floor writhing uncontrollably. I'm going to show you on this animation, Jillian, because I think it's important for people to know that when a generalized tonic-clonic seizure takes over your brain and body, you lose consciousness. And this is an example here of normally your brain is firing, telling you to move, say, your right hand or say something. But when a seizure comes on for whatever reason, your brain literally goes haywire. You go into a tonic state. Usually you may fall to the ground. And as this is occurring, your brain literally is firing on all cylinders. That's why arms are flailing, legs are flailing, and you lose consciousness because there's no longer any true controlled thoughts going on up here. Usually seizures stop within a few minutes. When they don't, that's when people are brought into the emergency department and we need to give them medications to abort these seizures. And Jillian, there are a lot of causes of seizures. You can get a seizure from low blood sugars, from electrolytes are out of whack, after head trauma. Yes, you can get it from brain tumors. You can get it from infections. 50% of the time, people who have seizures, there's no known cause for it. They're said to have epilepsy. But I will say this, seizures, whatever the cause may be, I don't really think of seizures as an explanation for a personality change. You can get, you know, slight personality changes, you know, maybe a bit of depression or something like that, but you, you don't get all-out psychosis that causes you to do something like this from a seizure. Well, to me, it is a completely non-credible explanation to explain this behavior because what we're talking about here is behavior that spans a long period of time here. It was 31 days before she admitted that the baby was missing and then a cover-up across one year, two years, into three years. And all of her other functioning, uh, as far as we know, uh, was devoid of any anomaly that would be associated with some kind of neurological event. So it just, to me, is completely non-credible as an explanation for why she may have done whatever it is she, she did. And just to clarify for everyone, Cindy's mentioning of some of these medical problems, that's all speculation too, correct? Well, certainly, and I haven't seen any medical records. She says the grand mal seizure occurred. She says they went and got a workup, that they found nothing. Uh, and you know, what's happened since then, I don't know. I'm just telling you what the woman said when I sat down and, and asked her to try explain how and why her daughter could have done this.